A woman has been arrested after a viral video emerged appearing to show a prison officer having relations with an inmate. Police had previously stated that they were investigating the footage, which was reportedly filmed at the scandal hit prison in Southwest London after it circulated on social media. It is not known when the footage, which shows an officer in uniform, was taken. The Metropolitan Police state on Saturday, a woman was arrested on suspicion of misconduct and public office offense on Friday. It comes two months after a watchdog called for the prison to be put into emergency measures amid concerns over failing in security and severe problems with overcrowding, drugs, violence, and self-harm. Chief Inspector of the prison, Charlie Taylor, wrote to Justice Secretary Alex Chalk to issue an urgent notification to implement a Category B Victorian jail after, quote, deeply concerning inspection findings. Mr. Taylor warned that security remains a serious concern at the prison with chaotic wings of staff across most units unable to accurately account for their prisoners during the working day. He also stated, quote, the poor outcome we found at Wadsworth are systematic and cultural failures and stemmed from poor leadership at every level of the prison. For the troubled prison to begin to recover, Wadsworth needs permanent experienced leaders at all levels who are invested in its long-term future to improve security, safety, and guide the less experienced colleagues. Until this happens, the risk of further catastrophe, a self-inflicted injury, or escape from lawful custody is ever-present. A Met Police spokesperson told The Independent, quote, a police investigation was launched back in the 28th of June after officers were made aware of a video allegedly filmed inside of HMP Wadsworth. Quote, a woman was arrested on suspicion of misconduct in public office on 28th of June. She has been taken into police custody. Inquiries continue. We remain in close contact with the Ministry of Justice. A prison service person also added this, quote, staff corruption is not tolerated and the former prison officer allegedly featured in the video has been reported to police. It would be inappropriate to comment further while they investigate. Another one. Linda de Sousa, a 31-year-old former prison officer of South London Jail, HMP Wadsworth, was seen in a viral video seemingly showing her having relations with an inmate in a cell of the prison. The explicit video was widely shared online, leading to the London Metropolitan Police to confirm to the media about launching an investigation. Although the woman was not identified in the video, the Daily Mail reported exclusively that her name is Linda D. Sousa, and she recently quit her job at the HMP Wadsworth after a scandalous video surfaced. Her sister, Adriana, stated to the Daily Mail that she and her husband, Nathan, were contestants on Channel 4's show's Open House, The Great Sex Experiment, broadcasted back in 2023. Mail also revealed, citing the sister, that she also could have a secret account on an adult streaming platform. She also described her sister as a swinger, and she also stated that she removed Linda from all of her social media accounts after the video emerged. Adriana also stated that she did not watch Channel 4's show even though her sister was on it because it was explicit. Quote, we have been made aware of the video alleged filmed inside of the HMP Wadsworth. A police investigation is underway at this early stage. There have been no arrests at the moment. HMP Prison Service also acknowledged the incident and the fact that the woman worked in the prison. They stated that staff corruption is not tolerated and that the woman has been reported to police. I'm just going to be real. Um, you know, if, if grown adults, if this is what they want to sit up there and do, I'm talking about the husband and wife. If, if they want to appear directly on a show and they want to be with other couples, that's cool. No problem. But not whatever. No harm, no foul. Uh, but the moment in time that you have a woman that is deciding to work a certain job where she's nothing but around men all the time who are more than likely catcalling, trying to get her attention. Uh, she's, you know, trying to put on the best makeup and the eyelashes and smell all great. And, and again, she's working at a prison. She should just be solely focused on her job, but clearly she was focused on other things. And then to add insult to injury, she is clear cut married and she has a child. And this is what she decided to do. And on top of that, the worst part is because I, I, I watched the film. She acknowledged and knew that she was being filmed. She even looked directly into the camera, meaning that she did not care at all. She did not care. She did not care. And 
either which way it goes when dealing with the child growing up this video is going to reemerge somehow some way the child may run into this video and um no parent out here no woman out here can give me a a a valid reason on how to excuse this type of behavior you just can't there is no way that any mother out here could give some type of excuse on why it is that your child can see you um you know <laughs> having this go through um you know on video you can't there, there's no way that you can excuse it there's no way that you can sit up there and explain you can't just sit up there and say oh i made a mistake you didn't you look directly in the video people can clearly tell that you're married people can sit up there and see the wedding ring. people recognize your face your sister knew exactly who it is that you were and she acknowledged it and got rid of you off of all of her social medias like i said this is crazy this is 100 percent insane this is why i said before at no point in time should you have these types of things you shouldn't have uh cross contamination so to say you should not have women working in men's prisons you shouldn't have men working in women's prisons you just should not have that happening at all and also for some of the people that i know are going to roll up and they're going to sit up there and decide to state oh well this is what happens when you know uh you you, you marry a uh, woman that are you know from a different culture nah because i'd uncovered uh some black women that did the exact same thing working in prison so please don't start don't don't be the one that's going to be stupid stay directly on topic please do because like i said i've uncovered a variety of stories over the years and it won't take me nothing but to hit a few buttons and bam put that story right back out there please don't do it <laughs> don't do it to yourself but you know like i said before this is crazy and this also goes to show how you have a society where you have a lot of women feeling that they can just do any and everything that they want without any type of consequence as if nothing is going to take place to happen i want y'all to understand this married woman who has a child she decided to do this unprotected there was no protection being used again this is a prison this is a clear-cut prison there was no protection being used at all in that video I i'm pretty sure that there were no type of tests done again i'm pretty sure she don't even know where that dude has been i'm pretty sure that guy don't even realistically know where she's been but he don't care because he's in prison so he's like hey i'm getting some at the end of the day and nobody else is getting none i'm enjoying myself so which means uh the legitimacy of that child could also come into play as well because this woman is literally having unprotected relations with a whole nother man and like I said, that's how dangerous it is. And this is also to, to put into perspective of taking this, because again, this happened in the UK. Let's move this over to the United States. A lot of people want to sit up there and say like, oh, you know, it's all of these guys fault for the reason that, you know, STDs and whatnot are running rampant and how it is that women are catching them. But do you not understand to see, for example, of this video? And again, this is the UK. But again, it was a woman wanting to do whatever it is that a woman wants to do. She decided to have unprotected relations with a guy of which she does not know. She she doesn't know, uh, you know, where he's been in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. She doesn't know uh, his blood chart or anything like that. But she decided to go directly in and have unprotected relations. So, like I said before, that will also let you know how a lot of women in the United States are having um you know unprotected relations and catching a lot of these stds because they're just out here moving and being reckless i made a video not too long ago where it showed a dude sitting up here saying like hey i got three stds and i'm out here they ain't stopping me from sitting up there dating and i'm like that's crazy and i'm like this is the type of stuff you know this is how people you know have things happen that should not be happening because people do not want to be careful about anything but you know at the end of the day um that guy there he specifically chose her this is the type of life that you know he wanted to sit up there and live he's a ufc fighter <laughs> so i'm pretty sure he doesn't really care he knows how to fight so can't nobody really you know say that to him because if they do one two three <laughs> they out of there so you know he decides to live a wild life he wanted a wild you know wife and uh this is where we are the only thing that you can pretty much do is pray for the kids and um hope the kids don't take directly after the parents that's the that's the best that you can sit up there and hope right but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video